Hi guys and welcome to another kit review. Alright, so today we're looking at a figure kit from Tamiya. In 135th scale, it is their German machine gun crew on manoeuvre, which is a five figure set, uh, initially released in 1994, and the kit number is 35184. So in this kit, you get, as I said, five figures, one figure carrying an MG42, one figure carrying the tripod for the MG, plus, um, oops, sorry, couldn't see, <laughs> one figure carrying ammunition, rifle, and the leader of the MG crew, who's carrying his MP40. Okay, so he's the guy in charge. These are the guys that do all the work. All right, so as you can see, standard Tamiya, nice box art on a white background, really nice rendering of fi uh, the faces. Okay, so that's the front. Let's have a look at the sides. So on the side, you'll get... And it does show an MG34 as well. So you probably do get one of those in the kit. MG42, K98Ks, MP40, tripod, and the uh, accessories for the machine gun, which is like, this will carry the MG sight. This will carry your cleaning kit and stuff like that for the MG as well. On the other side, standard accessories for your crew. Binoculars, all right. Mess tin, pistol pouches, water bottle, salt barn, gas mask, map case, entrenching tools, bayonet, and your bread bag. They call it a duffel bag. It's actually, the Germans referred it to as a bread bag because that's where you keep your, your bread and all your other food accessories. All right, on the back, you'll see this is your assembly painting. So you've got an ammo carrier, a chief officer, they call it your machine gunner, your belt feeder who's also carrying the tripod, and your, another ammo carrier. So that's your standard machine gun team. One guy fires it, one guy helps load it, and the other guys carry the ammunition, and he tells you where to shoot. So as you can see, you get a choice of bipod down or up, and this is your tripod for the machine gun mount. Okay, brief description of what a um, German machine gun crew consisted of. Okay, what kind of leggings and things like this. So these guys have got the short boots and the leggings, which is a later 1942-43 adaption of the uniform. The boots were not necessarily black at about that stage they started to go to brown due to lack of dyes etc okay so that's the back of the box that gives you your color call outs etc how to assemble the figures let's have a look and see what's actually in the box now she comes one piece of paper with the standard warnings you know, this doesn't include glue, cement, etc. And one bag with two sprues. Okay, so this being a Tamiya kit, I don't need the knife to open it. They are always stapled shut. Okay, out they come. Put that away. Put the figures to one side. Let's have a look at the actual critical parts which is your MGs and your accessories all right so MGs first and there we have it Oops, sorry that went out of really nice MG34 and MG42 so a really good rendition all right these are your ammo accessory boxes ammo box there okay so this is your bipod folded and unfolded 
usual accessories, water bottles, mess tins, helmets, entrenching tools, really nice detail on the entrenching tools, and not too much flash, really nice looking MP40, K98s, yep, so I have seen a couple of Dragon K98s which had holes there, which are actually not a hole, okay, but that's, uh, they were old kits anyway, but these are really nice looking K98s, let's have a look at the other side, of the MGs. There you go. That is a really nice looking MG42. Alright. Nice paint up. Bit of wash on that to, to highlight the um, details. Same goes for the MG34. Really nice details. Really crisp. Okay. A little bit of cleanup needed on the molding lines but not too bad nice detail all around yep i like the weapons i like the accessories Right, let's have a look. So there is only two sprues in this whole kit. Very simple, very easy one to put together. These are your figures. This is the back of the figures, straps, etc. Let's turn these guys around. Okay, get in focus, there you go. So these are a 94 issue. Details not too bad. Faces, well, they're standard Tamiya figures, okay? The detail is in things like the machine gun tripod, all right? I've seen worse figures in modern kits, so there is a bit of cleanup on the mold lines required, though, okay? So, but, I mean, you always have cleanup, but this... A little bit excessive in places I've noticed. The faces, yeah the faces are not too bad, they'll come up really well. Okay, and literally that's it. You get one, you get two. The accessories are the thing that stands out the most. The figures are standard Tamiya, not Yeeha details, but they're passable and they'll paint up really well. All right, and that is it for this kit. Very simple, very straightforward. You could put this together in a weekend. The painting is going to be the bit that slows you down, but then again, the painting is part of the enjoyment of doing models. Okay, guys, that brings us to the end of this one. I hope you got something from it, and until next time, take it easy.